Hi everyone, in this video session we are going to look at another problem in operating system from the topic process synchronization. This question was asked in the year 2009 for 2 marks. The question is, the enter CS and leave CS functions to implement critical section of a process are realized using test and set instruction as follows. The definition of enter CS and leave CS is given and it is said in the above solution x is a memory location and associated with the critical section and is initialized to 0. Now consider the following statements. The above solution to critical section problem is deadlock free. The solution is starvation free. The processes enter critical section in first in first out order. More than one process can enter critical section at the same time. Which one of the following statements is true? So here in this uh, four statements, there are few words those are used. One is deadlock free, then starvation free, first in first out order. And the fourth statement actually deals with, uh, talks about mutual exclusion, um, mutual exclusive access to critical section. So all this four words, uh, those we, are, uh, we have seen here, is uh, is basically necessary talks about or is related to the necessary criteria that a critical section solution should follow so on the right hand side of the screen i have written down the necessary criteria uh, for a critical section solution a critical section solution should allow mutual exclusive access to critical section what it means is that a critical section solution should allow only one process at one point of time to get access to the critical section. The second criteria is progress criteria, which means that uh, the processes which are requesting access to critical section should not be made uh, to wait to get access to critical section unnecessarily. That is, if there, there is no other process currently accessing critical section, then out of all requesting processes, at least one uh, 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 process should get access to critical section immediately. Uh, if, if the processes which are requesting access to critical section are made to wait, unnecessarily even though there is no other process currently accessing critical section then uh, the progress criteria is violated in other words this progress criteria is also uh, known as being deadlock free a solution which meets progress criteria uh, is also deadlock free the third criteria is bounded waiting what it means is that a process which has made a request to critical section should get access to critical section in bounded time or should get access to the critical section um, after uh, you know um, critical sections access is given to bounded number of processes right so a limited number of processes so that is bounded waiting criteria the critical section solution should meet bounded waiting criteria as well and in other words bounded waiting criteria is also known as also be called as starvation being starvation free a solution which meets this criteria is starvation free so now let us uh, um, discuss about the definition of test and set usually test and set is a uh, you know can be taken as a system call but it is implemented in hardware as a single instruction so as to meet its atomicity necess uh, necessity of being atomically executed that means a process which makes a call to test and set uh, should not get preempted before the uh, before uh, the um, uh, test and sets execution is completed so the definition of test and set can be um, given as this. It can be take, uh, considered as a function and the definition of it can be considered as this that it takes as parameter value x 
assigns it to a temporary variable and returns the same value to the caller and within this uh, the value of x is also set to 1 so whatever it gets as a parameter it returns to its caller and also sets this value of x that the parameter to 1 and now this value of x is basically a value which is available to all the processes making call to test and set and as soon as uh, the value of x is set to 1 it is available to all the processes that means all the processes are immediately able to see uh, the value of x to be 1 now as the value of uh, initial value of x was 0 let's say out of all processes whichever is making first call to test and set would definitely be able to see the value of x as 0 so it would call test and set with a value 0 and in return it would get a 0 because the 0 is assigned to temporary variable and temporary variable is returned so it would be able to get a value 0 in return so in while loop a value 0 means false right so the first process which makes call to test and set would come out of the loop and gets get into critical section the next processes which are executing while loop and calling test and set would be able to see the value of x as 1 because the first process has already set it to 1 so they would be able to see the value of x to be 1 right and when they make a call to test and set with a value 1 they would get in return a 1 so 1 is considered as true and they would keep on looping in this while loop and they would keep on looping till the first process which has just get in, got into critical section uh, while coming out of the critical section would call leave cs function and in this leave cs function the value of x is set back to 0 right so after this process has come out of this leave cs function if it gets preempted and other process gets the cpu which is currently executing test and set it would be able to see the value of x as 0 because the first process has set it back to 0 and when it calls test and set with 0 it would get in return a 0 so it would now come out of this while loop and get into critical section so what we can see is that uh, while leaving the critical section the, the process which is leaving the critical section would set the value of x to 0 so so that the next process would get access to the critical section so at the most one process can see the value of x to be 0 at one point of time and when it makes a call to test and set with a value 0 it would come out of this while loop because it would get in return a 0 and get into critical section so what we can see is at the most one one process requesting access to critical section can get into get access to critical section at one point of time so mutual exclusion criteria is fulfilled uh, by this uh, by this solution and so we can say that option 4 more than one process can enter critical section at the same time is incorrect now let us talk about uh, the progress criteria progress criteria is means uh, no unnecessary waiting uh, for access to critical section if it, if there is no other process currently accessing critical section then out of all requesting processes one process should get access to critical section immediately so let's say uh, many processes are currently waiting into uh, this while loop they are looping in while loop and this can happen only if the value of x is 1 and the value of x uh, 1 can be set by the process which has first called uh, test and set so if a process is currently in critical section other processes would be made to wait in this while loop now as soon as the first process comes out of the critical section it would set the value of x back to 0 and the next process would get a chance to get into the critical section so we can see that uh, there is no unnecessary waiting in this while loop as soon as a process comes out of the critical section it get, it uh, 
uh, it gives access to the critical section to the next waiting process right so there is no unnecessary waiting for the access to critical section and hence progress criteria is met by this uh, solution right so what we can see here is that the above solution to critical section problem is deadlock free this statement is correct meeting progress criteria means the solution is deadlock free that means there is no unnecessary waiting to get access to the critical section now let us talk about bounded waiting and as i said most of the critical section solution follows this bounded waiting criteria by allowing access to critical section in first in first out order that means out of all processes which has made first request to the critical section should be allowed the access to critical section first so that is first in first out criteria and let's check whether uh, this solution this particular solution um, uh, uh, follows this first in first out order of access to critical section or not let's say a process a is already in critical section that means the value of x would be 1 right and now process b uh, now cpu is uh, now process a is preempted and cpu is given to next process say b and now b is making a call to enter cs it would find the value of x to be 1 so it would keep on looping in this uh, in this while loop right now after that process process b is preempted and the uh, and the cpu is given to process c now process c also makes a call to enter cs and uh, it would also find the value of x to be 1 so it would also keep looping in this while loop now after that let's say cpu is given back to process a now while process a is in critical section it would come out of um, so it is in critical section it would come out of the critical section and it would call leave cs function and it would set the value of x to 0 now let's say after process a has executed for some time the cpu is given to process c now process b and process c were both in this while loop right now the cpu is given to process c what would happen here is the process C would be able to see the value of X as 0 which is set by the process A while leaving the critical section so it would come out of this loop and get into the critical section so what has happened just now is that even though process C has made a request uh, for the critical section after process B but it has managed to get the access to critical section before it so first in first out order is violated here and if it keeps on happening to process B that other processes keeps requesting uh, the access to critical section and they keep on getting the access to critical section bef before process B then process B has to starve forever right so this solution is not starvation free and it also does not follow first in first out order had it follow first in first out order then it would have definitely be starvation free so the statement three the process enter critical processes enter critical section first in first out order is incorrect and also second statement the solution is starvation free is also incorrect only statement that uh, is correct is the above solution to critical section problem is deadlock free so the bounded waiting criteria is violated by critical section solution and among this uh, statements only first statement is correct so option a is the answer so hope you have understood the explanation thanks for watching bye